Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. Today I'm here with a canvas I make for someone and uh, I start with modeling paste through a stencil. This stencil I make myself actually. I always use overhead foil, a fairly thick one and they are a bit heat resistant so I'm working with my wood burning tool and when they're too thin and not heat resistant the the edges will get very very wobbly and so my it's my experience with this for it works best so I uh, put them on the right and the left and um, after they dried I covered the whole page with gesso as you can see here that I can work properly on it and I wanted of course to cover the modeling paste so it's not really white white so the next step is I'm using two colors um, turquoise actually was requested and um, I would think this um, permanent red violet goes great with that with turquoise I really like this combination and I use my palette knife to put the paint on. I wanted to have it in this way, very um, yeah, sketchy, can you say that? Didn't want to have brushed strokes. It won't um, stay like this because I will paint over it. And after that dried I used this orange, it's a uh, Degrad gloss paint and I thin it down because I didn't want to cover the background. I wanted to have the colors shown through and um, if you, as you can see soon I will take off quite a lot of that paint anyway again. I on, only wanted to have this orange on top a bit. I really like that combination when you see this turquoise and the red with the orange. I, I like it. Okay, be that some of you Things it's awful. So, and I wanted to keep white spaces on that. That's for sure. So, um, that you can see, that's basically the background, and um, this stencil with the faces. That will be my focal point. That's a stencil from Dina Wakely. Um, I don't know what it calls because I always. Um, throw the package away or because I store them in, in file folders so I can't tell you what if you like to have one you will definitely find it Tina Wakely doesn't have tons of um, of stencils so it's easy to find so I, I put three of them two up and one low here I highlight the eyes and then I go around with um, Stabilo Oil around the bubbles to, yeah, to have a bit of done more dimension. They are of course stenciled but um, I want to have them more dimensional and I really like to use this this Stabilo Oil that's a uh, hey, it's available in three colors actually I have them all in white in graphite and in black I don't on, on this project I didn't want to use the black one that was too harsh I thought and the contrast would have been too too yeah too hard so I used the graphite one and um, to highlight the bubbles on top I used my new pastels my white new pastel and um, yeah went around with a sharpie, white sharpie, uh, around the faces and um, that's the result. I think it's not that bad. I'm not really the professional shader. I really like it when to shade. I really love it but I'm not that good at it so but I think that wasn't that bad and but I thought at this time something dimensional was missing and I have this. That's a sort of drywall tape as well, but it's not self-adhesive. 
I really like to use that. You can cut it in any shape and form. I use it a lot in card making as a background. And you can put um, acrylic paint on top. It sticks really well. And here I etch only the top and the right left. I, as I said, I want to leave the white spaces. So that's why I only etch on that areas. And at the end, the um, tape here, the, I ended up having them orange. That was um, the best thing in, in, I didn't like it in turquoise and in this red violet. So in the turquoise, it's dimensional but not overpowering. And that's my Stabilo Own again. And I use that, is it, I use it for um, shading here as well. That gave me a hard time with all this little, with all these little holes, and it took me a while to be happy with that. So at the end, you will see some pictures as usual. What I did with it was there were some water soluble media on top, so I, I um, sealed it first with um, acrylic uh, matte varnish two or three, uh, I think three layers, and then I uh, used uh, from Liquitex the gloss medium varnish to give it a bit more shine. And here I go over with a, with a Durvant um, Intense Pens to shade the faces a bit. And I think I sealed it after that, and that was the last thing. Um, yeah. Renew the white stuff a bit, and I, can you see the shine here already? Yeah, that's already made with the gloss medium varnish from Liquitex. Makes the colors a bit more pop as well. And I smudged with all the stuff over there, so I had to repair the black lines a bit with a pit pen. And here are the pictures. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you had fun and I see you with the next video. Bye bye.